I'm looking for Lieutenant Barnes. That's me. Oh, Mr. Newland, isn't it? Yes. Well, didn't you get my wire last night? No, just the letter. Oh, well, I sent you a wire and told you not to come up. Well, it's strange I didn't get it. The letter said the house was being torn down today. Yeah, well, it's all a mistake. I acted on a, on an impulse. An impulse? Yeah. All right, Lieutenant. That's kind of normal. We all have impulses. Look, I, uh, I changed my mind, okay? Sure. I'm sorry to have brought you up here for nothing, and I'll be glad to pay your expenses. No, that's not necessary, Lieutenant. I, I kind of enjoyed the ride. Believe me, this is not the first wild goose chase I've been on. Look, if I told you about the house, nobody would believe it. I haven't got a scrap of proof. But you believe it, don't you? Yeah. Do I look like a screwball or something? No, I wouldn't say so. Yeah. I'm one of the most hard-headed guys you'll ever meet. But I don't know. I just don't know. I suppose I owe Graham something. They all think he killed his wife, you know. I guess I gave him a hard time. A cigar? No, thank you. Well, in my book, he had it coming. Fred Graham. <laughs> he and his wife used to live in Bridgeport, and they rented this house here for the summer. She lived here, and he came up on the weekends. They had one of those marriages they were trying to patch up. It'd gone sour. They weren't doing a very good job of it, either. I didn't get to know him until later. But the neighbors complained more than once about the fighting that was going on up here. 